Hi fellow Webflowers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Fonts Auditor to identify embedded Google Fonts in your website and how to replace them with local font files to become GDPR compliant. So there are two different ways how embedded Google Fonts can get into your website. The first one is um, in the site settings under the fonts tab that you or somebody else has installed Google Fonts here. You can see that, that on added Google Fonts and you can add another Google Font um, just by choosing one from the list and add the font like this. So now you have two Google Fonts installed and they will appear as embedded fonts in your CSS uh, code. So, but for now, let's uh, delete the last one. And the second way how um, an embedded Google font can get into your website is just if you click, for example, on a um, paragraph and choose another font uh, directly here from the uh, designer. So this, this way now uh, this is defined with uh, Montserrat. So let's publish that and have a look how our tool works. So here you can see our Google Fonts uh, auditor and you can just paste the URL of your website in here and click on scan. It takes a couple of seconds and then you come to the report. In the report, you see all Google Fonts that the tool found, uh, all embedded Google Fonts that the tool uh, could found on the URL. So it's uh, scanning the HTML code of the URL and is also scanning the CSS files it finds in that URL. And you can see we are using two Google fonts here, Montserrat and Sora. And it also shows you all the class names that um, are using that fonts. And this gives you a hint how to uh, replace them as uh, quick as possible. So let's head back to the um, designer and backend of the website so I can show you how to replace them. So first of all, go to your site settings to the fonts tab and have a look at any Google fonts are installed here. And you can see here's a Google font installed. Um, keep in mind which uh, font weight you were using. It's regular and uh, deleted. Then go to uh, Google fonts and search there for Sora and download the entire font family. Go back to the backend of your site and upload the correct font file. Um, you can see you will find uh, different files and folders inside the download file and uh, just go to the static folder and here's Sora regular and upload it and upload it again. And by the way, um, this now is the file format TTF. There are um, smaller file formats for web. And in this video, you can see um, how you can optimize the font file for better uh, website performance. But uh, for now we go with a uh, TTF. Um, yeah, go back to the designer and check if the font was replaced uh, correctly. And I can see uh, that this headline is still Sora. And if I check it here, I can also see that it's still Sora. Now, if you want, you can publish your site to check it again with the tool. And if you go back to the tool and uh, rerun the audit, takes a couple of seconds. Um, you can see that Sora disappeared from that list and we still have Montserrat left. So, but Montserrat now is not a font that was installed in the site settings. It is a font that must come from somewhere else. And you can see here you have the class name TXT. And um, yeah, in case you don't know where the class TXT was used, uh, just go to the designer of your project, go to the styles manager, search for the class name. And if you click on here, it will tell you where the class was used. Um, you can click on that and it will bring you to the page. And yeah, if you hover over it again, it highlights the um, element in the designer that is using that class. And you can see that Montserrat is defined here. Uh, you just can, can replace it by reset it. And now it's Sora as well. And yeah, you have to rinse and repeat this step until all um, classes here are uh, cleaned. Um, 
yeah, from time to time you can republish your website and rerun the audit to um, see how you progress. So let's rerun the audit. And you can see, congratulations, it looks like your website doesn't use Google Fonts. And now, why does it look like your website doesn't use Google Fonts? Um, I will show you. Many websites have embedded third-party tools like uh, we did here. Uh, we've just integrated a YouTube video here. And because that's an embedded YouTube video, this video pulls Google Fonts um, with the YouTube video. Um, the difference is that the Google Fonts that are used up here, they are not placed in the CSS files. They are placed directly uh, within the code of this uh, subpage. And we just have scanned the um, homepage of that uh, project. And as I mentioned before, the tool is checking the source code of uh, that URL and is also grabbing the CSS files it finds and is searching within the CSS files for uh, Google Fonts. It's not searching um, the entire sitemap or all URLs of the entire project. So that's why it can't uh, find if you have an embedded video somewhere on a sub page, like a blog page. And uh, this is using uh, Google Fonts. But no problem, uh, we got you covered. Next week, uh, we will release a video where we show you how to use YouTube videos and also Vimeo videos GDPR compliant within your website. Uh, we will show you how to implement um, a two-click solution with just a little bit of custom code. And it just takes a couple of minutes and after that uh, you can use YouTube videos um, in your website without any problems. And um, yeah, if you're using our Google Fonts Auditor, just have in mind if you are using um, YouTube videos somewhere on the sub page, also scan them and have in mind that the tool is only scanning uh, if you are using Google Fonts here directly from the uh, designer or if you have um, uploaded some Google Fonts uh, within the site settings. So thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date for upcoming videos. Bye bye.